Welcome back. I'm here with Elizabeth Moses, who is a groundbreaker in the STEM and trades industry. As a young woman, she is breaking ground as a machinist, and she's an all-around delight to be with. So welcome, and thank you for being here. You have quite a story to share. And thank you for having me. I'm really honored to be here today and be able to share my story and my experience as well. Yeah. Your story is one that I feel um, represents one of the greatest things about being Canadian. Tell us how you came to be a Canadian and, and that journey, if you don't mind. Well, I was born actually in a refugee camp in South Sudan. Um, my parents brought me here to Canada when I was five years old. And for me, my life lived in, I lived in Windsor majority of my life and mm -hmm. I've been here. I went to high school here, I went to um, Assumption High School, I went to St. Clair College and now I work at Windsor Mold. So it's been a, an amazing, amazing experience and I'm so happy and so grateful to live in this country. I'm mm -hmm. so grateful for my parents for bringing me here and allowing me to ha have a better life too as well because we come from such a very, we come from an area of war and poverty and mm -hmm. for them to make that sacrifice to bring me to Canada it's honestly the greatest gift that they ever gave me in my life. Wow, You're, we were speaking before we started taping and I was so impressed by how humble and grateful you are and, and determined. You've, you've had quite a successful career and you're a young woman. Can you tell us about your journey at, at St. Clair College and what you're doing? Well, in the sense, I've had a lot of great mentors along the way and many individuals that helped me. So mm -hmm. honestly, it's been an amazing life. and. I started out actually in high, well, I, how I discovered the trade was actually in high school. Mm -hmm. and I went to Assumption High School and I was accidentally placed into a woodworking class. Okay. And for me at the time, I was, I just, I was, met, I was placed into this woodworking class and that mistake actually introduced me to the teacher that would change my entire life. Amazing. And I took the class and I actually ended up enjoying it and working on the machines and building projects out of wood and everything like that. Mm -hmm. And the teacher actually introduced me to, actually the teacher invited me to join his robotics team at the time because okay. he's mentoring a robotics team. Yes. And because of that, I was able to discover my tr uh, discover um, my career in machining. And I ended up really looking at that pathway at St. Clair College. There was a pre-apprenticeship program. Mm -hmm. I ended up uh, pursuing the program in actually 2016. Mm -hmm. so okay. Last year, I ended up graduating from St. Clair College with a certificate of apprenticeship for the General Machinist Program. Mm -hmm. I've been there, I've been at St. Clair for three years. Yes. And it's been honestly a great, great path. And I'm so grateful. And uh, right now I'm working at Windsor Mold as a machinist. So tell me what you do at Windsor Mold. At Windsor Mold, I am a machinist. And what my job is that we make metal part we make metal parts for molds. Molds are large machines mm -hmm. that make plastic parts for cars. Okay. And you're working towards your red seal, you've told me. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm working towards my red seal. I'm hoping to get that this summer. Mm -hmm. And the red seal actually in any trade is a high certification and means that you have mastered your craft. So then you become a journey person. And that's what I'm really hoping to become this that's year. That's amazing. Well, that's awesome. So you're an ambassador for Build a Dream. Tell us about that program and what that's been like for you. It's, it's an amazing program, honestly. It's such great individuals. And I'm an ambassador there. And I met actually the president of Build a Dream, who's Noor. Her name mm -hmm. is Noor. When I was in college at St. Clair, yeah. she was uh, the coordinator for the apprenticeship program there. And mm -hmm. through that, I asked her how I can get involved in the community and work with students. Yeah. She, she then introduced me to her organization, Build a Dream. And I've been there, I've been volunteering there for three years now. It's been a great experience. And I've met many young women. I've been able to share my experience, my story, mm -hmm. encourage them to pursue STEM and skilled trades. Yes. Look at different options in their career pathways, people that are, women that are unsure of their future. And it's been a great, it's been amazing to me, able to meet women in my community, give them that support. Yeah. and you know, talk about that experience with them too. So in your experience, what fields do you feel women maybe should be taking a second look at that we don't typically think about, whether it be in STEM or in trades? Is there is there opportunity there that maybe we don't realize? Yeah, there's opportunity. There's opportunities in high school. There's uh, OEAP. Students yeah. can part participate in that and can actually start their apprenticeship in high school. Yeah, get hands-on experience, Get right? on those experiences. Yeah. And take, on wood take woodworking classes, take tech classes, you yeah. know, math and science really focus on those classes because you know there's so many great careers in those sections you know we're as women when I was in high school I was told when I wanted to go into machining that mm -hmm. it was not a pathway for me yeah and honestly I'm so happy that I didn't listen to those people mm -hmm. and I said to myself you know what I believe I can do this job yes and as a woman we could be we can do many different careers we can enter to many fields 
and it's an amazing experience so far. I met such great mentors in my uh, shop at Windsor Mold. Mm -hmm. So many people have taught me along the way. So many men and women mm -hmm. have supported me through my apprenticeship and helped me to be where I am today as an apprentice. Yeah. And I can't wait to finish my apprenticeship and become a journey person so then I can help someone on that pathway become, become successful in their apprenticeship as well. That's awesome. So you can pay it forward in your own way. So do you feel with young people that maybe they need some more encouragement to explore these areas yes, as do. career options? They absolutely do. Yeah. We need, as like in schools, they need to talk more about the trades in STEM and encourage students to pursue these pathways and as well because there are amazing careers that people are missing. Like an apprenticeship program, mm -hmm. it is f three to four years, yeah. and you're paid along the way. Yeah, you go so to you're school. you're not getting student debt yeah. and all these other issues. You're earning you while you're learning. Yeah. You're in school. At the same time, they're paying you to be there. Yeah. You're being paid to go to school, and your company can support your education as well. Like my company, Windsor Mold, actually paid for my apprenticeship at St. Clair College, so I was able to go to school for free. Mm -hmm. I'm debt free. Majority of people in the trade are debt free. Yeah. We don't have severe debts in school because mm -hmm. our the pathway that we chose allows us to be able to support ourselves, have an education at the same time and along the way we are able to make money along the way and support ourselves and our families and everything like that too as well. So it's a great opportunity that students are missing. And there's the pre-apprenticeship programs. Uh, so Wes here, at Wins Wes yeah. of Windsor, they provide that for women to be yeah. able to pursue skilled trades That's and they, awesome. it's free. And Some, the world is changing, right? Absolutely. So we have to kind of look at it with a new set of eyes. What uh, what what do you love about your job or what, what inspires you in this field? Because you're clearly passionate about what you're doing and you find joy in it. What do you love about it? I love that I can make, par make I can actually see what I'm making. Yeah. Like it's, I can see it in my hand, I can hold it. I can actually see the designs. Bring, I feel like I'm bringing the designs yeah. to life. And yeah. that's why I really love my career. Yeah. And I love my job. That's awesome. And it's amazing to be able to bring a design to life and see the finishing product at yeah. the end of the day. We actually get to, we see molds, we see the lights of the cars, the dashboards. It's, it's tangible. It's amazing. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And these skills are transferable. That's another thing too. I can use these skills in other parts of my life. So yeah. I know how to build things. I know how to work with tools. I can use that in my everyday life. That's, That's why awesome. I enjoy my career. Thank you for sharing your story. You are, as I said, one of the best examples um, of a young woman in Canada who is making a dent and contributing to our community in such a positive way and, great, and breaking ground. It's inspiring. So thank you for spending time with us today, Elizabeth. It's a pleasure. Thank you for having me. It's been a great time too as well. Awesome. Thank you for joining us today. For Plugged In, I'm Andrea Morrison.